All right, it's a beautiful Thursday morning here um, in McClure, Ohio. One hybrid that's one of my favorites is P0720 that we're actually standing here in the background of. Uh, so a great hybrid, as Jeff mentioned, that we had some challenging conditions for uh, testing that stress emergence. So excellent early vigor and excellent emergence out of the ground and setting an awesome stand across a lot of our different soil types. The other thing is, is we run into a lot of different versatile soil types across Northwest Ohio. So from sand to heavy clay soils and 720 handles, all of those types of soil environments with excellent drought tolerance. So one of uh, our favorite products that you're gonna see lots and lots of acres of throughout Northwest Ohio. And I want to talk just a little bit on some soybean things we're watching out in the field. A lot of the soybeans are just beginning to reach the flowering stage, the R1 stage to start the reproductive process. This is a critical time for two different things. First of all, we want to make sure weed control is completed around this time um, to prevent that competition that can really start robbing yield as we reach these reproductive stages. And also the labeled products um, can begin off label as we get to R1 and the R2 stage. We also want to think about white mold as we get to the flowering time frame. White mold is a disease that can impact soybeans as splashing moves spores from the soil into flowers and causes um, significant yield loss where that pressure is high. Might want to consider fungicide applications um, to help control white mold where that pressure is high. Something like approach at nine fluid ounces per acre right around first flower can be very beneficial in heavy pressure situations. We might follow that again in about two weeks time frame to keep that pressure reduced. So keep that in mind as your scouting field is a great tool to help, especially as we move into the later part of the season with identification of corn diseases, soybean diseases, even on wheat um, can be found in the Pioneer Seeds app, a brand new tool called Threat ID, where you can simply snap a picture of what you're seeing in the field, whether it be a disease or an insect or a, nit or a nutrient deficiency. And that app will take that picture and give you ideas on what is going on and how to manage that. So I encourage you to take a look in the app, download the Pioneer Seeds app if you don't have it, check out Thread ID. Definitely get your, um, it's available on your Android devices and your Apple devices as well. So an excellent tool to have. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.